Greetings again, everyone. This is a new YouTube video regarding a new platform that I've been working with for a while. Uh, it's called Fusion PBX. It's very similar to the interface, such as F uh, Free PBX or PBX in a Flash or Elastics, Tricks Box. It's just a different platform running a different engine in the back end. Instead of running Asterix, it is using and running free switch a different SIP stack developed from a different uh, company so it's not digit related none whatsoever but it can be used just like asterisks one of the big ideas and big reasons to use free switch if you're trying to deploy a different platform or you're running different type of SIP application that you might not think asterisks will work for you so if you're running either a high production platform or you want to start a high production platform but don't really want to spend the money on buying expensive equipment you can start on free switch because it's very scalable uh, keep in mind that free switch works a little bit different for as the community connections so it's not updated as much as asterisk there's not too many people that uses free switch on a domestic standpoint but there are people like me that actually use free switch day to day so my daily sip platform is actually free switch in this case also the fusion pbx web interface and i use asterisk as a backup i found a lot of things you can do with free switch that asterisk cannot do that fits my needs better than other people so it definitely depends on your flavor it also depends on what kind of platform you want to run but for me i like free switch a little bit better but i know that there are customers end users vendors even ordinary people average people like you and i uh, that want to use free switch but there's not many configs and there's not many instruction uh, videos out there for free switch so we're going to try and start this series with the fusion pbx and free switch on the back end so this would be a first look at fusion pbx i would definitely re recommend you going to fusionpbx.com you go to that website it will show you how it works uh how to install it and what you need to install you also want to go to freeswitch.org very important website if you want to actually compile free switch into your in, sorry, into your server and it runs fairly easy is is ported more than the asterisk server so you can actually run free switch in theory on windows machines as well i haven't tried that yet but I would like to actually try that so that might be a good idea for another video but download this uh, set of instructions from free PBX I'm sorry I'm sorry fusion PBX .com and free switch .org. you might want to get a virtual box set up for CentOS or so far Ubuntu does work as well um, in that case I recommend Ubuntu 10.04 or 12.04 CentOS 5.9 or 6.2 final make sure you do, uh, download the developers tools for the CentOS and you can go ahead and start compiling free switch like I said it's not hard at all but if you look at the page here it, it works very similar than the asterisk you have the inbound routes the outbound routes destinations you also have applications like IVR call center ring groups and they work fairly the same it just looks a little different Let's gonna try one because I haven't. I don't think I have the actual back end turned on, but let's see. Can I click on ring groups anyway? Yeah, okay. So over here, you can see that you can create ring groups, create the extensions, and after you create the extensions, you can put the extension, the actual phone extensions inside the ring group, just like Asterix and just like uh, PBX in a flash. So, um, yeah, PBX in a flash. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it works fairly the same only difference would be if you want to do things in the back end like the actual configuration files and the directories uh the configuration files use xml as opposed to plain text like asterisks so if you have a little bit of xml skills you have nothing to worry about and if you don't let us know we can show you it's not hard at all 
but I re- I would recommend you guys looking through PBX. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, but Fusion PBX and Free Switch. Look at those two. The links will be in the description. We won't have an instructional video for this yet, but that will be the next video. But I just want to get a touch basis to you guys on something that you might want. That's not asterisk, which is still free. It's still open source and it's still highly configurable. I know for a fact, if you buy a Cisco and a Via devices or Nortel devices, you might spend a lot of money. And you want something that scales. You might want something that scales a little bit better than Asterix. So I would recommend the free switch method if that's the case. Of course, you can build a lot of modules inside of free switch. Uh, even fax to email, uh, SMS texting. You know, they seem like they've done this or implemented this a little bit before Asterix, at least from what I'm seeing it. And it does work. I've actually tested all of that. And I'm testing that every, every day because I have a box in production with FreeSwitch. And I do recommend FreeSwitch if you're trying to make a PBX scalable for maybe more than 100 calls or even more than that. Uh, as opposed to Asterix, might not be able to do that. Now, in comparison to this new version of FreeSwitch and Asterix 12, I have not made the comparison yet. So I've just downloaded the, the latest uh, build for free switch so I'm not sure will it will it actually compete against Asterisk 12 or not so I will have to do a few more tests just to f- confirm that but this was just a quick video explaining that there are something other than Asterix that within the same category as Asterix that you might want to try especially if you have issues with Asterix or you want to try something different or you just want to be bold and, and live life on the edge <laughs> but either way uh, free switch would be a good a good addition to our cafes and also to you guys can fix as well I would do recommend free switch but just let us know if you have any questions about free switch uh, let, let us know in the comments uh, let us know in the emails or just give us a call if you want to that's fine with us um, either way that will be the end of this video and I will see you guys next week